I found the monster and gave it a hiding. Literally. Excellent. I'll be able to make skin vessels capable of holding powerful agents that can be used against the infected. I'm ready for more. Anything you need hunted? I do. Your most dangerous prey yet. The creature I've been telling you about? It's been located. And it has something you need. Indeed. Its hair possesses qualities most rare. Miraculous, even. But that's besides the point now. Remember the GRE island? The one where you trapped the virals for me? It's there. Lurking at night. And Aiden, you can't kill it. Wait, can't or shouldn't? Either. Listen to me. There is no fair fight with that creature. It will tear you apart. Your only chance is to lure it into the trap and box it in before it can lay a claw on you. If that happens... Eh, don't worry. I can handle this thing.
Here I am. Told you I could handle that thing. Aiden. I am sorry I asked that of you. I was worried sick. But thank you. I'll be able to help so many people once Supply brings me the samples. Speaking of which, how's Harlan's father? Any news? As a matter of fact, yes. The parasites have been completely eliminated. That's great to hear. I was worried. As was I. Outcomes like this are not guaranteed, but we are thankful when they happen. Yep. And what do you have for me now? More hunting? Trapping? Actually, there is one more matter to attend to. Hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, not for me. Uh, for Corvus. He's... He is waiting out in the garden to speak to you. Corvus? Hmm. Wondered where Mr. Tall, Dark, and Surly was lurking? Yes, well, uh, out in the garden. Please, please see him. I, I have a rather complicated potion to formulate right now. If you say so. What's this all about, Corvus? You're friendly all of a sudden. I'm in a good mood. It's time to celebrate. What are we celebrating, exactly? I will tell you if you will drink with me. And well, I want to know what we're drinking to first. And spoil the surprise? Drink, Aiden. I invite you.
Fine. Be that way. But I'm not in a drinking mood. You shame me by refusing to drink with me. But you shame me all the time, do you not, Pilgrim? Well, what? Okay, what's this celebration all about? Your hunts are finished. You will leave and never come back. To that, who we drink. Leaving? Says who? It's not like you're gonna go on hunts for the Baba. I thought that was beneath you. No, you are beneath me. Always mocking me. Never showing respect. But that will soon all be in the past. Drink. I don't think that's a good idea. Such insolence! Okay, Corvus, you've clearly got something on your mind. What's this celebration really all about? You have been a thorn in my side since you first came here. You are coming between me and the Baba. She grows willful. You threaten all we have. And what exactly do you have? I've been wondering about that. A delicate balance. That is what. We are bound to each other. To the death. You don't act like soulmates to me. Welp. Your time is nearly up. I don't know what your problem is, Corvus, but I'm out of here. And now, your surprise. You will not just be leaving this place, but this world. I will send you to your grave. Uh, finally, a direct threat. It's about time, Corvus. Dog, you think you're a great hunter, eliminating powerful beasts. Powerful, yes, but mindless. How, I wonder, would you fare against one such as me? Ooh, it sounds like you're calling me out. Oh, I am, dog. I will have your head. I'm not afraid of you, but I think the Baba is. I might just be doing her a favor by putting you down. You have mocked me for the last time. Die, whelp! <laughs> It's you. You're alive. Corvus just tried to kill me. Why? Did you know that was going to happen? Yes. N no. I, I did not control Corvus. I was his prisoner. Hey, what? The robbery I mentioned. He staged it so that I would be obliged to him, offer him money to protect me. He quickly began demanding more and more payment and threatening me if I tried to leave or have him arrested. I couldn't leave. Too many of my customers depend on me. And he had to stay. 
to ensure I wouldn't turn him in. Uh, you're bound till death. That's what he meant. But what does any of this have to do with me? The haunt made me realize that you could face Corvus and survive. You set me up. I couldn't think of anything else to do. I knew you would prevail. You saved me. I'm indebted to you. You owe me nothing. Perhaps. But please take this. May it serve you well. That's mighty impressive. I know you think I am a charlatan. But I was a pharmacist in the military. My remedies are real. I just cloak them in a bit of mysticism because the old ways appeal to my customers. White lab coats are hardly a comfort to people these days. Yeah, that's true. So thank you. Come back again. I'll keep the shop stocked with whatever you need. Okay then. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Baba. <laughs>